name is Kathy, and in today's video I'm going to be making some sweet pickled beets. The recipe I'm going to be using is going to be out of the Ball Complete Book of Home Preserving. Um, I use this book a lot, as you can tell by all the little sticky tabs. And today it's time to make some beets, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get the beets um, boiling in some water so that they can soften up. I'm going to turn on my stove. And what I'm going to do is put them in the water um, just by size. Um, some of these beets came out of my garden and then some are organic beets that I bought at the store because I didn't have quite enough. So what you want to do is leave about two inches of the leafy part on and leave the root intact and just set it right in the pot. Two inches, leave on the root. I did um, scrub the beets really well so they're all clean. And I'm going to be saving the greens and um, I'll dry those and put them in with my um, a jar of greens that I keep in the cupboard for when I want to add additional a um, little bit of additional nutrients and some vegetable to um, soups or stews. to um, need to boil for probably a half hour to 40 minutes or so. Once they start boiling, um, after about 20 minutes, I'll start checking some of the smaller ones and pull those out as they get, um, as they get soft. Um, and as I pull them out, I'll put them in some cold water so they can cool off and then I'll slip off their skins. Okay, so while the beets are cooking, I'm going to get the brine ready. So in this pot, I have one cup of sugar, two and a half cups of white vinegar, and one cup of water. And to that, I need to add a seasoning packet, which since this is going to be a sweet brine. I'm going to take a piece of cheesecloth and to that I'm going to add about 10 clove, whole cloves. Looks about right. And two cinnamon sticks. I'm just gonna break those open. Okay. Then I'm just going to pull this all up and tie it in a knot. So now I'm going to add my seasoning packet into the, the sugar and vinegar and water. I'm going to bring this up to a boil and then I'm just going to simmer it for about 15 minutes to give the cinnamon and cloves a chance to infuse the brine. Okay, well I'm going to bring you back as soon as the beets are finished cooking. Okay, so our beets have finished cooking. Um, they're nice and soft and they've cooled down. Now in my pot here, I have the brine, the sweet brine. And then over here on the side of my stove, I have my water bath canner 
along with my jars heating up. So the next step is going to be to peel and cut the um, beets and get them into the brine. So I'm just going to cut off the bottom and the top. Okay. I'm going to use a potato peeler to help me here. Makes it go a lot faster. Mostly it just slides right off. There's a couple of places where it's still kind of stuck. The potato peeler helps. Okay, so I've gotten all the skin off. And now I'm just going to cut these up. Okay, I'm not sure where it left off because my battery died. I had to go replace that real quick. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get the beets cut up. I'm just doing them in slices. in anticipation of the mess that the beets will make. I've opted to use my resin cutting board instead of my wooden one because that will be easier to clean. I'm also wearing gloves so that my hands don't get stained. And I've put paper towels under my cutting board in case I have any um, juices that happen to dribble over. Now I'm going to go ahead and just get the rest of these cut up and into the brine. Once I have them all in the, in the brine and nicely infused with that sweet flavor, then I'm going to get the beets into my hot jars. are cut up. Um, they've been simmering in the brine so they're nice and hot. My jars are hot. My lids and rings are hot. And on my workstation here I have a slotted spoon for getting out the beets. I have a ladle for getting the juice. I have my debubbler. My funnel. A jar lifter, my magnet for getting the lids out, and I also have a little bowl of vinegar with a paper towel so that I can wipe the rims. So let's get started getting this canned up. First I'm going to get a couple of 
pot jars out of the canner. I like to get out two or three jars at a time. Try not to make a huge mess with this. I'm going to scoop in some beets. I just want about a half inch head space. And I'm not sure how many how many jars this is going to make. It's a little bit too full. You don't want your beets packed in too much. There, that's good. I you see I have about one inch headspace there. Now I'm going to put in some juice, some brine. inch of headspace, debubble it. That's about an inch. Wipe down my rim. Put on a lid. My ring. Finger tight. We'll put this right into the water bath canner. Again, fill it with beets. I'm probably only going to get three pints out of this. I didn't have a whole heck of a lot of, didn't have a whole lot of beets. I'll go ahead and do this other one real quick because I think this is all I'm going to get out of it. enough brine. I might have to mix up some more. Yep, I'm going to have to mix up some more brine. So I've made up some more brine, and while I was making up the brine, I just put two temporary lids on the beets and put them in the, um, the, the canner so that they would stay hot. So now I'm ready to finish getting these in. 
This is the first time I've ever made pickled beets. And supposedly, the brine I mixed up was going to be enough for six pints of um, beets, but that does not appear to be the case. So, next time I make this recipe, I'll just make sure to know that I need a lot more brine than what it calls for. So, all right, well, I'm gonna get these two jars in the canner. I'm going to process um, them for 40 minutes. So the processing time on the pickled beets is 30 minutes, but because of my altitude, I need to leave it in for an additional 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these processed and I'll bring you back and show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, well the beets have processed for 40 minutes. And then I remove the lid and let it sit in the hot water for another five minutes. Now we're ready to take them out. Look at those. Beautiful red. There we have it, three jars of sweet pickled beets. Well, if you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified each time I put out a new video. That's it for today. And until next time, have an amazing day, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.